Awful hello to an yeah. even uh, Aloha. awful start. <laughs> Welcome to the Joystick Show, episode 116. Oh, damn. Yep, that's... it's our sweet 116th. Wow. Yeah, it's great. It's great, a good time. great party idea. It's, it's no not candles. as good as a marriage party, but <laughs> neither here nor there. Uh, uh, Welcome to the Joystick Show. You know, we're, we're all, well, I was going to say we're all here, but you know, fuck you, Joey. Uh, he's off for the night. But we've got Jerry here hanging out with what us all? today. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah. And it talks some talk, walk some walk. No walking. Uh, we're gonna bring the walk mm. to Poland. I think that's where it's been lately. <laughs> <laughs> Great show. Where it's been lately. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta look. I teach middle schoolers, so I'm like, my jokes. I, I have to remember to switch them from Thursday to Friday when I'm not working. <laughs> <laughs> I have to remember I'm not switch. entertaining Gen Z ears, you know. <laughs> but fucking you no, know, welcome to the Joystick Show. Uh, it'd be, it'd be really helpful if you could like this episode. If you could subscribe to Team Joystick, you know, we make a lot of different, That'd be nice. different stuff. Right now, it's just a lot of podcasts, but sometimes it's let's play. Sometimes it's cooking videos. Maybe some shorts. Sometimes it's shorts. Sometimes it's uh, us walking around Hence. neighborhoods that we like. I'm mm-hmm. not wearing shorts. It's cold. No, we're gonna make Jerry wear shorts. 500 subscribers and Jerry wears shorts yep. in the cold. That's yeah. gonna be uh, <laughs> for five seconds. That's how that's how this channel blows up. Jerry dies. <laughs> we give Jerry a me, video of me walking outside in shorts. It's gonna. I, I can already. See. <laughs> and now it's next episode. Jerry has no bottom half. It's just He's a no, torso on yeah. a fucking chair with arms. But you never tell. I could just do the podcast. Bro, I real. can see the thumbnail already, dude. It's like pri- it's predominantly blue. It's Jerry's blue face, but it's open with that surprise like. Thing, you know? <laughs> cold. It's the like cold negative emoji. 100 degrees Fahrenheit next to him or some shit And the title is like We killed our best friend yes. <laughs> Jerry went outside in shorts <laughs> And this happened dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Oh man Great Why are stuff. we making this? You know? uh, yeah, no, I don't know <laughs> this, this, uh, this podcast really is just We sit around and we talk about all these great ideas That we definitely get views And then we don't make them yeah. <laughs> like, like, Why would we do Why would we, would we actually make that type of content I mean, let the record straight We, we don't want to give Jerry happy yeah. therapy yeah. Yeah. Kind of do. Think no, about how many clicks fun. we would have gotten If we would have did that Cuphead video Imagine if <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point That's a good point We have to explain that now That that I don't know what's worse Cuphead or the rap The rap uh, uh, qu- Shut up! The wa- <laughs> Shut up! Quadruple Shut whatever. Up. The Cuphead sketch before the the, the game. Did, we, did we even finish the mumbo? Did we even finish like the YouTube stuff? <laughs> what YouTube stuff? Yeah, we did. Like, yeah, yeah we did that. Subscribe. Yeah, until, we'll come, until, yeah. Like, but fucking later. before the game Cuphead came out and it you know it got massively right. successful. Now there's like a, a Netflix cartoon about the game and shit. We legit had a sketch idea <laughs> where all like I remember it to this day. Every, it was like not that long. How? How much in time before like it was announced and it like got a big. month? Yeah, like it was like a month before E three or something, and yeah. they announced Cuphead, and we were like, "Get the fuck out!" But the sketch was gonna be like me and Joey live together or something like that, and Joey's getting ready to go to work, and I I like look at him, and I like tap a cup on his head. And I'm like, fucking Cuphead. Yeah, it was like... And then he stupid. goes throughout his life, and everybody he goes through is just like, Cuphead. Yeah, everyone stupid. calls him Cuphead. And it's like this super, like, sad, like, like to music and yeah, shit like that. And there's like a funny. payoff joke at the end where some guy calls him, like, a fucking douchebag, and he's like, thank you, or something. Like, <laughs> it, it broke the cycle or something. And then a month later, fucking the game dropped. We were like, holy shit. If only... Yeah. I mean, we can make plate head. That would work. Plate uh, head. Yeah, it doesn't sound as good. Shut up. <laughs> Fork head. <laughs> we'll go through all the utensils, man. We'll go through them all. Fork head. Oh, just sounds like a place. Stuff. It's kind of funny that we were bringing up old joystick stuff because I was uh I was showing my girlfriend uh a lot of old joystick stuff, but specifically uh two of our best videos ever made, and that okay. of course being Last Slice and Last Slice Two. Right. Just, yes. You know. God, what was the, rea- what was the reaction? <laughs> oh, she this? loved them. Yeah. You know, I I gotta I, I, you know not to toot my own horn, but I've got some acting chops. You know, when I cry <laughs> in those fucking those shorts, 
It, it looks real. Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm distraught over this eaten or, or destroyed pizza. Uh, but to give you some context, Joey came over to my house maybe like nine years ago, and we were, he was like, "Yo, you wanna wanna film a video?" And I was like, "Of what?" And we ordered pizza, and he was like, "It could just be a video of us fighting for the last slice of pizza." And we made a video and put it out on Joystick. It's called The Last Slice. And then a year later, we followed it up with Last Slice 2. And we never did another one. And that was fucking like seven years Last ago. Last Slice 2 was like actually a pretty big production. It was. Yeah. Jose was in it. Last was Slice it, 2 right? was a big production in comparison to Last Slice 1. Last Slice 1 was very spur of the moment. Jose yes. and yourself were in it. The camera quality was much better. You know, it was just we learned from the mistakes. Deeper storyline. Right. You know, the music was solid. Score by John Williams. Imagine what we could do now in 2022 after 160. <laughs> we have three episodes cameras. Of the Joystick Show with three cameras. We can do a multi-camera sitcom with the pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing about Last Slice is this is just, it's such a. It, and by the way, here here are the links if you want to fucking yeah. go watch that. But here, are like the thing with the Last Slice and us specifically, Joey and I, is it's just been this like thing that it comes up like once a year where we're like we just contribute six new ideas to it and then we forget about it and like now we're coming back into it. But I still remember all the ideas because they're so fucking stupid. I think my favorite one we had was we were going to turn it into like a noir detective movie where yeah. like the pizza's gone and me and Joey have to team up after the two times that we've gone against each other. So it's <laughs> like, it's kind of like the, 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 the Peter chicken fight when exactly, they like shake hands. Yeah, it's know? like, oh, damn. Exactly. There's some fucking there's character arcs there. Yeah. You see, it's not just it's not just stupidity. There's some, <laughs> it should honestly go into like every single type of genre. That's like what a, I was hoping. It's, it's, like a, too many it's, like a, it's like a noir thing. murder mystery. Where? And then it turns into like a sitcom. Mm -hmm. And then it turns into, it could just keep going. A horror movie. With the, shit. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to give Joey a call after this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Like a tip, like a psychological thriller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Fucking a rom com with me and Joey. <laughs> Just like a, a horror pizza. Horror pizza. <laughs> hey man, they've they've done horror tires. They can do anything, right? Right. I wouldn't be surprised if that exists. I, no, I know it doesn't, but I wouldn't be surprised. Horror pizza? Yeah. Probably, probably does. Sliced. Or it's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 or it's like it's a, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pizza guy who shows up. You order the pizza. He comes to the door, and it's a slasher movie. And he kills you with the pizza roll cutter. Yeah. It's like super dull, so it takes like 10 minutes. He's just like cutting off. Ah! Ah! For mad long. But he's he cuts all of his victims. It's the off screen. It's just it's like a... The, he takes your body and like throws it up in the air. <laughs> like and when he's done, he's just like... <laughs> Great. Speaking of food, I think it's uh cool. I wanted to swing it onto something that Dylan actually gave us a, a solid idea for. Yeah, I yeah. I, uh, I realized as we uh, are not cramming this episode, but we're doing this episode today after doing a one last week on short notice, and I realized it's the Thanksgiving episode. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it really is. Uh, and there's no theming. We didn't have. We didn't bring out the cornucopia. No, <laughs> we didn't do any of that. But, but. We, d we are doing something for Thanksgiving. It is fun. We are giving thanks. <laughs> what are you thankful for, Dylan? Uh, whew, uh, detectives. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the fucking detectives. Yeah, because they're like the cool cops. You yeah. know, they like they have a cool. You know, they have a cool way about them. Him and his partner show up. Gotcha. They got a wallet that's leather and it flips out and you see the badge and you're like, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Word. And they're always doing like an important case. Yeah, right? it's always like this woman got murdered, and yeah. I talk to her family every night. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, it's, I, there's like, there, there are people to be thankful for. Yeah. Absolutely. Are you thankful for anything? Yeah. What is Jerry thankful uh, for, bro? Anything, do, do I have bro. to pick like a like and a job? Be, <laughs> no, no it could be any, anything. Like you're honestly, thankful. What am I, thankful I was gonna pick. You want to hear what I'm thankful? for? I was for? gonna pick like porn or something. No, I, I can tell you what I'm actually thankful for. I'm thankful for the scrub daddy. Yeah. You know, it's a really good addition. You're Scrub. able to you're able to wash every single utensil in the sink. Oh, you know, it's got bro, the flat surface fucking oh, shark yeah, no, I, I got one. I got it's got the holes that you could stick the the spoons and the forks in. And I think it was really awesome yeah. that there were three holiday editions for Halloween that you could get. You know, shout out to Scrub Daddy. They're doing some really revolutionary things with the kitchen. Yo, I'm smart. thankful. Yo, I've been going into to my to to school to my classes on Thursdays. I'm thankful for the the, the free food that they have there. Sometimes. Wow, look at that! They get like these these pizza that has like a bunch of toppings, what? and then they get they get wings too. Oh damn! And damn, they, that's no charity. They get shit. sandwiches too. They hook you fucking Yo, up. They, and they have a cold brew machine there. Oh bro. fuck! Oh, yeah, it's bro. fancy as fuck. Yo, bro. shout I'm out to Scrub Daddy, that. Cold Brew, and Detectives, yeah. man. That's <laughs> what what Team Joystick is thankful for this November. Ask us in ten minutes when we have more things. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll wrap up this segment with some more things yeah. we're thankful for. But you know what else I'm pretty thankful for? 
food. All jokes aside, I'm thankful to spend a good holiday with family and friends and enjoy some good fucking food. Oh, because yeah. I don't care what you think Thanksgiving is for. At the end of the day, doesn't matter what you celebrate. Open you're gonna your eat mouth. some gonna. F- yeah, open your mouth. You're gonna put some but good food. Family in. All right, that's food. part of it. So we're actually gonna do a fun little Thanksgiving food tier list. Okay, I like this. Preface disclaimer. Okay, I don't care what background you're from. I don't care what culture you're from. This tier list isn't gonna have like oxtail or arroz con gandules or like you know what I mean. It's one year, one year, have... my aunt pulled out a crazy chicken recipe, and yeah. I was like, "What the? This is delicious, but what the fuck's wrong with you?" This <laughs> tier list is strictly do do like the quote unquote Thanksgiving Thanksgiving foods. class, stereotypical. Right? American. And don't get me wrong, we're gonna run into like five or six, and we're all gonna be like, "Fuck that shit," because none of us have even eaten it. But I'm very interested here. Second have, disclaimer. Like, a list? Oh, it's we're gonna pop it up oh, right here. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, be an awesome. interactive it. thing. It's yeah. prepped. Don't worry. Second disclaimer: uh, whenever it comes to food, reviewing food, talking about food, I always have to step back and kind of say that I am a very picky eater. You guys know this, so I don't really feel like this is necessarily my forte. So I feel like when it comes time ta- comes down to ranking these foods, I'm really gonna be listening to you two, uh, and then you know I'll chime in with. What you're I like think. the moderator. Exactly. Yeah, you're picking <laughs> where you. you so uh, yeah. you want to see what we're working with? Yeah, here? I want to see. I want to see the roster. Yeah, let's see what we got. Let's take. A I want to do stuff like this more often. Roster. We absolutely should. Like this, yeah, or like we draft like a team of something. Yeah, I like you know, that. I like. That I actually, it was cool. Before you brought this up, I actually had a segment oh. prepped for this episode that wasn't Thanksgiving related. This is way better. So now we and have a segment. All right. segments, so bro. let's start off with turkey. Turkey is the classic. Uh, I think turkey sucks. Turkey's ass. It's the worst <laughs> poultry by far. It is. As someone who's tried chicken, I think I've it's tried okay. duck. Like turkey's fine, but like, and I okay, and it's I also. Go- you're for Thanksgiving, it's good. Piece. We give it a day, right? It's yeah, Thanksgiving, yeah, you give it's it a day. Good. We right. give it a day it's out delicious. of the year, and then every other day it's chicken. You know what I mean? So right. I would put this in here. I'd probably put this in like. I put okay. it in the okay category. But if you want if you okay. wanted to put it great, I would I, I wouldn't fight you. Okay, probably. Okay. I'll put, ooh, ooh. I, w- I would fight you on the great. I would fight you on that. So we're gonna put it okay. Yeah, it's okay. Well, okay, if we yes, and if okay gets really crowded, because I'm pretty. Mad. I think it's high okay. Yeah, I'm okay, pretty mad yeah. on a lot of foods here. I'm already looking at. The oh thing. yeah, don't worry. So I think we're gonna have to move stuff around mm-hmm. a little right. bit. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is pretty good. I don't like many pies. Me neither. So that's that's where I'm I a feel bad about. judge. Of However, this. this is like it's like the quintessence. It's one of the most. So I don't like any pie, but then we did that one Chef Son episode where we made pumpkin pie. Shout us that. Here's the link, and uh, I liked it after that. Even okay. so much so that we have pumpkin pie ice cream that I eat every now and so often upstairs. So that I sounds would pretty put good. this. I would put this in okay. You know, I don't think it's necessary. I, I think you like could put we'll it in put higher. Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. it's okay, it okay or higher. For now. I think it's a staple. You know what I mean? It's right up there with turkey. Okay. Apple pie. Apple pie is great. Apple pie is better than pumpkin pie. Absolutely. I think we can agree I think we know that. my opinion on this. Well, food. I we all know Dylan doesn't like cooked fruit. Yeah. <laughs> so like this would be this would be hard pass every day of the week for me, but, but I know how But it's apple pie. It's baked into the core of America. Yeah. <laughs> so every, every fast food restaurant wouldn't make a variation of the apple pie if it wasn't solid. So It's quintessential for sure. Yeah. It's it's pretty American. So I'm going to go ahead and I think it's it's fair to put apple pie in great here. Yes. Yeah. And for, for what sure. it's worth, I have none of these desserts at my Thanksgiving dinner. Me neither. You know, just fun you to know, put them here. These are very American foods. Like biscuits. Half of these I haven't elite. I don't even eat. Biscuits are elite. Elite. As <laughs> elite. No question. Yeah, I will it. I will say you could easily fuck up a biscuit. Yes. It's hard right. though. Mm-hmm. More often than not, a biscuit is perfect. All right. It's flaky, it's buttery, sometimes cheesy. But Right. Or it, we all agree here, biscuits. Right, there's the no, there's yeah. no leftover biscuits there's at other, Thanksgiving. There's other bread that's here that doesn't stand a fucking chance. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't even. I can't even read that. That's Brussels sprouts. Is that? Yes. I've heard Brussels sprouts are really good My, uh, as a vegetable. Every time I've had Brussels sprouts for Thanksgiving, they have been the best thing there. Yes. I've never Which had Brussels weird. sprouts. They just kind of sound gross. You know what I mean? It's, they have a bad rap. They them. do have a bad. They have a very like if you bad call rap. them, uh, you know, if you call them like green orbs i'd probably have a couple of those but <laughs> brussels sprouts green, green orbs. they're like little mini lettuces kind of are they really flavorful or no you have to season you, you gotta make them flavorful. yeah mm. that's the that's the thing but you add some garlic some yeah parmesan. so i'll yeah, go with you guys this is, this is gonna be a dylan and, and jerry situation here what are we thinking here for brussels sprouts Ooh. it's at least okay it's it might be great i'll put it I want to put it in great, but I feel I feel rude putting a vegetable at a turkey and pumpkin <laughs> pie. But it is really good. So I feel like for right now we put it in okay, and then 
Yeah. We'll, later okay. On. We'll later on, have we'll to sort it out. But let's we'll just be put like, it where it goes. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, put it in okay. Squash. I'm a I'm a squash hater. <laughs> I don't I'll, like squash. I, I, I want to squash that out right now. Uh, cooked. I don't like cooked squash. I, I don't like it. Gets like go, it gets like you know goopy. It, yeah. It, it gets the apple pie thing mm-hmm. where when you cook an apple pie a long time, it gets like soggy. Yeah, mush. Yeah. And so it's like warm and soggy and has like a residue coming off of it. Yeah. No magusta. Is squash a gourd? Like yes. pumpkin is okay, I was but curious. the thing is, is that on other days I do like squash because like if you cook it only like a little bit and you like almost like fry it, it gets like almost crispier. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But what about the sasquatch? <laughs> <laughs> squash. Where would you put this? How about squash buckling? <laughs> I think squash is going in maybe or hard pass. I would put this in a hard pass. For me, me it's in a hard pass. How about a hard pass? We'll hard right, pass we're it. Hard pass squash. Sorry. Here I do not it. doubt people's ability to make a good right. one. Right. Where are we putting jellied cranberry? I skip it every time. That's a hard pass. Bro. I skip it every That's time. That's a hard pass. For skip me it too. every time. What are we doing here? You guys? tell me I'm putting jelly give, on my plate. Give me cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> like what are we doing here, Can you guys? Read this. What is that one? <laughs> Bro, elite. <laughs> I don't even, you can't even read it. What the fuck? Hold on, we're settling this. Is it like a quiche? What is it? I'll tell you right now. What is? It? I can't read it, bro. I don't know, bro. That's can not you words. Put it, can you put it on the black? Those aren't words. Can you put it on the black so what we can? What the fuck is that? Is it a casserole? That's a hard pass. It's some it kind of casserole. Can you put it? Is that a green bean casserole, bro? What is the... Can you, like, put it on the... Does it get lighter if you put it on the black or no? It says casserole. Yeah, it's, it it's a casserole. It's green bean casserole. All right, so where are we putting green bean casserole? You have it in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Hard past that. Uh, 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 green I'll, beans are are a top-tier vegetable. I'll but give a, the I fact that you're that. saying a casserole, it sounds gross. Yeah. Which, by the way, do you guys know what a casserole is? No. Nah. It's the name of the dish. So like, like it comes in like the pan with like the two handles on the side. That's a casserole dish. Gotcha. Mm. Uh, which by the way, my mom makes a pearl onion casserole. Bro, but onions are fucking top tier, bro. Pearl onion, what the fuck a pearl? Mm-hmm. Onion? Are we putting cornbread? Cornbread, people like it. Cornbread is elite. <sighs> it's 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 great or elite. I would put this in great before elite. I think it's elite. Ooh, cornbread, mm, cornbread's what? really good. You, right? I'm gonna, I'm hard putting it great. He's putting elite. What are you putting it though? You could be the deciding factor here. Cornbread, cornbread's elite. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can move it. We, I might move if we, if we have more. I, I'll say right now, if we have more than like three or four things in elite, we bump it down the grade. Got it. Yeah. Like if I have a choice between biscuits and cornbread. I'm having a tough time picking. I'm eating only bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, minus the bread, we've got corn. I think corn's elite. Corn is elite as well. If you if you have a if somebody gives you you know corn on the cob, especially yeah, if it's corn. lightly grilled, you're not oh, passing that got up. Put a little char on it. Put a little oh, butter crazy. on that. You're not you're not passing that up. Corn's Ooh. elite, right? Yeah. Put All it right. elite. Put it in elite. I want to put it great, but I, I love corn. <laughs> <laughs> I think I put it like I don't know I, th- I think too much about like the nutritional value of it but yeah. that's not what this is, is zero. about it's <laughs> not what this is about it's literally cranberry fucking sauce. fiber huh? cranberry sauce I've never had it I'm not really a big cranberry guy in general sounds okay I don't know what you would put it on it I put it on yeah, what, are we, what are we putting cranberry sauce on I mean I would put it in hard pass strictly because I don't eat it is that like a turkey thing like a I don't know we can look it up what, what are you supposed you to use cranberry sauce up? for? We're going to look up what do you put cranberry sauce on. <laughs> <laughs> for your shit. Uh, fucking, you could put it on a variety oh, with of meat? meats. Turkey, pork, chicken, ham. I don't yeah, want that, fucking, that's I don't a want fucking ju- no for that's me. Like, no. Imagine that, putting like grape jam I don't on, want your, any, on your meat. I don't want anything wet on my chicken, let alone cranberry sauce. So <laughs> I'm in gravy. That's going to be a hard pass. American, gravy. the way you like see American Thanksgiving in like a storybook and it's like, oh, they have the fucking like cranberry stuffing in the, in the ja- bro, that sounds miserable. <laughs> You're looking at the the mashed potatoes, and you're like, I guess I'd eat that, maybe. That's why, uh, that's why the American families have to come to Hispanic Thanksgiving dinners. Eating corn and mashed potatoes. So are we potatoes. putting this hard pass? Yeah. Yeah, we're eating corn and mashed potatoes. All right, what is that? Creamed corn. Creamed corn? Eh, 
Uh, I've never had creamed corn. I've had it doesn't it sound very appealing. It's, it's. I put it in. Can I, we put it in maybe? I think this is the first maybe. I think. I think we put it in maybe. You had. You had. A, you, it was elite. Yes. This is. This is my problem with apple pie. Because I'm being honest. If <laughs> I. This is my problem with apple pie. This is my problem with green bean casserole. You. Ha- it was in elite. It was already there, and then you took it and fucking made it a different dish. Yeah, that yeah, isn't right. good. But fucking my thing with that is like you know if I saw cream corn at the Thanksgiving table I would legit be like maybe you know what I mean so perfect mm-hmm. right that's that's where I think it goes yeah. dinner rolls is bread just elite bread is elite is that just is <laughs> that just... dinner I mean the dinner rolls are get, those dinner rolls are going stale though if there if there's if there's if, if there was biscuits and, and corn bread I'll put I'll put dinner rolls in great. I, you know what? If, you know, that's a good point. If Even all of these okay, foods are then. on the table, we have to take that into consideration. That's that's yeah. so dinner and you rolls, don't, and you're not unlimited. You know, dinner rolls is a yeah. you go on a walk midway. Go walk. So what are we feeling about gravy, boys? I think it's I think it's okay to grate. I think it's okay to grate. I think right. it's a little overhyped. Gravy's good in a variety a, of situations. It's essential though. It's a Thanksgiving. It's, it's essential in Thanksgiving because there's so much dry food. I'll I'll put it in great. Right. I'll put it in great. Put it in great. I'll put it in great. Sounds good. What about ham? Ham? <laughs> I'm not a fan of Look, ham at Thanksgiving. I, I don't think ham is elite, but I think ham is better than turkey. If this, it, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't belong in Thanksgiving, but I will say. I've had it at every Thanksgiving. A, a honey ham. That's what we have. No, we have a honey glazed ham. There's nothing better. That's it. There's nothing better than I'm a so, honey so, ham. So, think, so, here, so here, if you. There's so, nothing better. Shut, shut the fuck up. Me and Dylan are having a <laughs> conversation here. Yeah. Turkey, honey glazed ham on the table. Yeah, I'm, I'm going honey glazed ham there. So, I'm grabbing both, but I, I, look, I'll put it. I want to put it in great, but if you want to put it okay and then rearrange her ham to be in front of the turkey, I'm fine with that too. But I'm just pretty dead set on ham being better than turkey. I'll put it in great, and that's my opinion. Also, a nice life hack for everybody: a few days after Thanksgiving, you take the ham, make it, make it, put it into a breakfast sandwich. Mm-hmm. So we got uh, <laughs> we got mac and cheese here. Elite. Elite. I'm starting to see a trend here with carbs. <laughs> uh, uh, everyone has that one or two people that make the best mac and cheese ever. Yeah, and this be a good. Those good time people to carry shout, mac and cheese. Uh, what's up, so Mikey? How, what's you, up, Mikey? how you doing there, pal? <laughs> yeah. Shouts to Mikey. And Mikey's his... the best. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, fucking uh, like I think it was five years ago i asked mikey for his mac and cheese recipe and he mm-hmm. gave it to me to make for thanksgiving and i made it to the tea and it was the highlight of the thanksgiving dinner Crazy. everybody brought home and for what it's worth like i won't spoil the secret but there's a lot of fucking cheese in that recipe a lot of cheese, like different <laughs> cheeses and you just sit there and you add different ones but i mean that's how you make the best stuff right yeah word all right mashed potatoes elite Elite. It's also kind of elite. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Dipping the meat in the potato, uh-huh. ooh, nothing ooh. better. Shout out to Tabuskis. No, <laughs> no. He put the nugget in the biscuit, no, and then he would not. dip it in the mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> Did, was he, didn't he like sexually assault? Yeah, people? Uh, his, like his like, girlfriend and wife. Maybe not. Shout out to Tabuskis. He's still not. streaming though. Does go, he? Go oh, check wow. out a really bad Tabuskis stream. After Back to dead. Thanksgiving. Red wine. It's not a fucking food. <laughs> I'm not a wine guy Elite. in general, but I you like wine, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know Jerry fucks wine, with wine hard. Wine, wine's pretty good. Wine I, is we, fire. Fucking we, Jimi Hendrix over here. But, but uh, we could put in great, I think. You're not a fan of wine. Most uh, most wine is shit. I'm sorry. I, you, you know, you get the thing where it's like, oh, it has aromas of hazelnut. In, nah, I just prefer in, it to beer. It's right, better I'll than beer. Absolutely. You can move it. I don't like either. I prefer just drinking shots, if that's the point, if that's the case. What is this? Roasted vegetables. I'll put it in okay. Maybe, maybe. I mean, like, I wouldn't go for it, but I know roasted vegetable, vegetables yeah, can be I usually good. don't have... Re- yeah. Uh, we can do okay. At least okay. Okay, or maybe? Yeah. Okay? Okay. All right. What are we looking at here? We got fucking... What is that? Is that another casserole? Potatoes. Something potatoes. X no F. I think that's like the that's the it's the potatoes like all gratin kinda. It's like uh so that's gonna be a hard pass. <laughs> potatoes are good? No, they're good. What I don't know what it is. I can't I, I don't know what the first I don't know what the word says, but I know what the thing is. Exaligated potatoes? Look it up. I know what it, I know what it um Exalaged, exa, exala, 
Escalated potatoes. I don't fucking. I'm. Let's Google it. Fucking Thanksgiving. Potatoes. Cause it's like potato. Um, what the fuck is it? Like it's called like all all gotten. I put a stamp below. <laughs> that's not. It's, that's not what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Something will come up. That's not is what it says. Hasselbacked. Said. That's not what it said. <laughs> it, it was E S. E S C A S. Calling. S Calligen. S. That's not what it said, bro. Escalogen potatoes. Oh, escalope. escallops. Escallop potatoes. Scalloped? Es- no, esca- escallops. It's escalloped. Yo, this segment's gonna yeah, be the see, entire episode. Yeah, see, scallop potatoes. See, scallop potatoes. I've had, I've had. It's okay. What is that? What's the consensus deal? You're gonna have to be the. Yep. You're gonna be. Able to, you're gonna have to be the scallop. Hey, we don't. Even, I think since we don't know, like you guys don't even know what it is, we put it in maybe. I'm down. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I've had I've had it differently. That's really good, but I never had it that way. Mm-hmm. This is one that's like all gratin. I think it's called, and it's like that, but they put like bacon and stuff in it. Gotcha. It's like good. Ooh. What about like sparkling juices here? Sparkling juices. Like a sparkling cider. Like a sparkling grape. I re- Bro, I sparkling grape wheel is crazy. I put it with great. I put it with great. If we're putting wine. I got that. Bu- I got that bubbly going through me. You yeah. know, stuffing. I like stuffing. I think it's a great. Maybe an okay. Uh, I think it's. I, I know okay. I made the thing stuffing. Mm-hmm. I I I think I think it's a hard pass for me. So really? Hard, yeah. Hard, I, hard, hard. It's a it's a cornerstone on the Thanksgiving table, but. I would probably, I'd probably put this in a maybe. I think. Yeah, I think it can go in a maybe. That might be the okay. hottest take here with the turkey, but I think that's where, where we're gonna put it here. Yeah. And last it depends, it depends least, on what's in the stuffing. What is that sweet potato casserole? Yeah, I've never had Ooh. it. Never had it either. Never Me had neither. It. But sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes good. pop off. Yeah. Maybe. Put it in maybe. All maybe. right. There's the list. You wanna organize this a bit? Let's start with the elites. We got biscuits, cornbread, corn, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese goes in the front. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, good. I mean, I'm not gonna worry about that. That's like. Okay, let's ha- let's hash this out real quick. Cornbread biscuits. What's the best? <sighs> I think biscuits. Biscuits. I think generally biscuits. I would say. And then corn at the end here. Is that it? Shout out to sides yeah. and bread. All right. That's what Thanksgiving's about, right? Honestly. Why would you? Why waste your time with the fucking turkey? You know, <laughs> just make the sides. Make a shit ton of them. And they'll go out. All right. Great. Apple pie, dinner rolls, gravy, ham, red wine, sparkling water, or not sparkling drinks. I think dinner rolls, ham is up here, gravy. I'll put gravy at the front. That's a staple, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe ham I think, here. I, I mean, like I said, I disagree with the apple pie, but I'm not going to take that away from you guys. I think apple pie is better than dinner roll. I'm fine with that. And then red wine better than the, the sparkling juice. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter. I'm going to switch it. Just, you know, the kids. You know? <laughs> I think about the kids. For the kids. <laughs> Okay, tur- I think turkey deserves to be at the top. If we're putting it at okay, it deserves to be at the top of whatever yeah. the fuck we're putting it on. I like that order. Pumpkin pie. What was this again? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, that, that's fair. I maybe. I don't think maybe really matters all that much, but I definitely feel maybe about all of those. I'll put stuffing well, here. The bottom really matters. Here. The last one. What is hard pass? If the bottom doesn't matter. What's shit, the hardest pass? Oh yeah, what is the hardest pass? Like if you had to have something at the hard pass, it's just what's the, the order? Just the cranberries. I think it's the last. jellied cranberry. The, the yeah. cran- both cranberries don't. But it's like it's so forced. It's like yeah. keep your fruit out of my meat sauce, yeah. man. Well, there or it is. Back fruit sauce. There's yeah. the uh, there is the team joystick Thanksgiving food tier list, and uh, camera, so you have camera, it right there. Off. Boom! There you go. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That's great. Wow. Did you notice when it shut off? No. Oh, that's awesome. I'm sorry. I love that. Love that for us. That's fine, though. That's, I mean, at least we had, like, the wide shot going. So, like, at least, you know. <laughs> uh, hold up the podcast. Swing it to something. <gasps> uh, what are you guys thankful for? I am thankful for um, YouTubers on YouTube, you know, content creators, who make things about failed businesses. Uh, very specific, but very important, especially now when Elizabeth Holmes. I don't know if you know who Elizabeth Holmes. No, is. I do not. Uh, she tried making a company called Theranos, mm-hmm. which was a company that was supposed to do blood testing in the fraction of a second. Oh, and they would only need a speck yeah. of your blood, and they'd be able to, in turn, do it. It was a big startup for like fifteen years. This woman was seen as like the, the one, the female Steve Jobs. Mm-hmm. And after all these years, everyone found out that the machine didn't work and just ran regular blood tests. Wow. And so it was valued at like $28 billion or whatever. It was like all this stuff. Uh, and we're seeing it time and time again with every single person 
Uh, this lady was sentenced to 15 years in prison. So very yeah. good. I'm thankful for the prison now system. Now I know who you remember. Yeah. Once again. Yeah. Crazy. Hello, Sounds we're back. Speed. Hi. Uh, so you know if Dylan wasn't in the shot, you know. That's uh, okay. Sorry. Not important. Fucking mm-hmm. awesome. These cameras have been. It's not even the cameras. It's the SD cards, and it's pissing me off. I think it's just time. It's gonna fucking buy new ones. Yeah. But regardless, I'm thankful for Sheesh. fire hydrants. You know. Uh, not only do they give people reliable places to park their cars for a relatively short amount of time, as long as they're not staying there. Yeah. They also give firefighters access to water to put out fires, and I it's think crazy. that is really essential. I don't think we think about that too often. I mean, that's a double thank if you think about it. That's two reasons to be thankful for one thing. So, I'm I'm gonna have to say the scrub daddy and fire hydrants. You know right something in. else? I'm thankful. I'm thankful for internet comedians. Mm-hmm. You know they they've been popping out a lot. You know, especially on YouTube. You know, you got us. You got. <laughs> <laughs> that's you where got... I was gonna swing it, but he went right into it. I was, like, I you thought got... I was gonna do the by threes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know them. The uh, Joe Rogan, Joystick. Come down the nah, joystick show. That's too. Was that's like, too predictable. <laughs> that's too predictable, bro. It is. You got us. You got fucking Stavros, and you got you know like um, what's this other fucking guy? Tom Segura. Who's the dan- yeah. the dancing guy in TikTok? Bro, have you seen how red Tom Segura is now? <laughs> He's in general, you know, he's just like like I don't know if he got like a chemical peel or something, but he's like real, like red as fuck. Oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> he's just like allergic, and he's to like mad skinny something. now. He's like getting mad skinny. I don't know. I know he bought yeah. Hitler's teacup. Yeah, but, uh, twenty two thousand dollars. Wow, Jesus. for Hitler's summer home teacup, just to give it to Bird as a joke. Yes. <laughs> well, can I- we make that? Can you help us make that kind of money so we can give each other bullshit gifts like, like that? Gifts. So Jerry doesn't have to come to my house on my birthday and mm. give me an art project he worked on in high school. <laughs> <laughs> That's good though. Instead, Jerry could buy me like fucking I don't know a Bugatti, Saddam, Saddam Hussein's <laughs> bedroom robes or some shit. He like buys that. you he buys you like a Jackson Pollock, but he shits on it. You know, he's like, <laughs> a really <laughs> shitty person. But like, okay, like if I bought you Genghis Khan's, like I don't know, like a pelt. From like, like a tooth. dozen animals he murdered or some shit like that. But it's fire as fuck. Would you wear it? Yeah. You're going to wear Genghis Hell Khan's yeah. pelt? Yeah. Would you wear it in public? No one knows this Genghis Khan. <laughs> so it's still a yes? Yeah. Would you wear it in public if I'm with you and everybody we bump into, I'm like, yo, he's wearing Genghis Khan's pelt, bro. Yeah. I'm cool bro, that. that's a flex. That's, that's, that's clout. A, that's a flex. I have to come up with a reason where he would. <laughs> would you wear it? If you were wearing nothing else besides it, yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. I'd be like that would draw more attention. Don't just game for everything. Yeah, man. Yeah. Would you wear it if it killed you? No. <laughs> there we go. There we got there it. We got boy. it. <laughs> it's acid. <laughs> It'll burn your skin. You know what's another thing I'm thankful for? What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for a boy band named Brockhampton. Oh yeah. Just in general, I would. Oh. Just to swing it into this real quick, uh, for those of you who do not know about them, Brockhampton, famous quote unquote boy band from Texas. Made up of a bunch of talented dudes, pretty Everybody. much from everywhere, yeah. right? People from Texas, people from Connecticut, even people from like <laughs> Ireland, <laughs> you know, in Ghana. Yeah, but they all got together on a Kanye West uh, fan site. How many years ago? Like seven, eight years ago. A long and, time ago. And uh, they made music completely independently, and they blew the fuck up, and they they ran the independent music world for a really long time. There was a, uh, I remember it like so vividly it was probably june to the end of august of one summer i mm-hmm. believe it was the summer of 2017 the saturation and you, yeah, summer. yeah and, and that was just and it wasn't three it was just one and two and it was probably two months of some of the most creative stuff i've ever yeah. seen in my life so uh you know they're they're uh it's funny because in the short amount of time that they were a group there was all this like drama and all this like inner yeah. shit that had Turmoil. happened and it has it eventually resulted in the group breaking up mm. and that culminated well, when was it yeah last well technically two nights ago midnight of the 17th what is it today the 18th 17th i don't know point is is that on it's thursday day of the week. point is on midnight thursday they dropped an album called the family which ended up being a solo album from kevin who's the leader and it was to, he, what i thought was interesting is he actually just made the album so that he could get out of the contract and that everybody right. in the, the group could go their separate ways mm-hmm. and do solo music. Very Frank Ocean vibes. But then I feel like in another very classic Brockhampton move, after they released the final album, they were like, oh, don't worry. Midnight tomorrow, we're going to drop the actual last album, which is like a group project yeah. of stuff that they made together like two years ago or something like that. Mm-hmm. But point is, Brockhampton is, uh, is gone. That's it. It's done. And uh, 
how do you feel about it? Yeah. I mean, finally, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, um, I don't know. I felt like even after saturation two, that not the magic died out, but it was just kind of like the motivations for everything started changing. I yeah. feel, and then once it got to the point where like three albums got canceled i think at one point mm -hmm. uh me and jerry both own merch to albums that don't exist yeah mm -hmm. uh, which they changed the name to twice and they said no we're actually making a different album and then controversy after controversy uh but i would say overall i'm not like upset with the legacy that they left yeah i feel yeah. like especially if you look at their early stuff their early stuff was really good well they yeah. were really in inspirational for what it was worth like a yeah. lot of artists came out kind of because of Brockhampton. It motivated a lot of people. And another thing that I was going to say is to speak on to what you were saying is even the parts of the group that were like kind of chaotic where they were like, you know, having the drama or they were in it for the money or whatever, like those still chronicled really important times of them being a group. And it's kind of interesting to see because when you have a group or an, an artist like this, that it's only been around for a short amount of time, you can kind of study them and analyze them from all their ups and downs and shit. And I'm bringing this up because what you mentioned specifically when the motivations changed was really like when you saw the decline of Brockhampton. Mm -hmm. And that's what the album that Kevin made, The Family, is like all about. It's literally just like him apologizing to everybody about like monopolizing their friendship and like turning it into a business and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of fucking nuts. I was telling Jerry, it's it's a good album and it's like actually kind of like brutal it's really painful oh oh i bet and it, i i found it interesting too because it was always about like the group collective mm -hmm. i would say like um not like I, I remember their first three singles kevin isn't in any of the songs they're three kevinless songs and i, I find that interesting that they started with songs that didn't even have a minute and then right. they end with an album that's only him mm -hmm. i find that really interesting and also just like it's one of those bands that it's not necessarily about like what the music is. It's about like the story behind it. Yeah. And I think that's always super important. It's like, no, these guys moved into a four bedroom house together and, and there like were 13, 13 of them. Of, yeah. At least. And they moved from Texas. Like imagine moving with no money yeah. with all of your friends and you're just like, oh, we're going to make music. Mm -hmm. Right. And they did it. Mm -hmm. Went on tour. They and traveled it, the world. Mm -hmm. And it's probably one of my favorite videos, even though the song itself isn't good. But I think like one of the best like, encapsulating moments of Brockhampton is they're all sitting in their home studio and on Instagram Live, they make a song yeah. that appears on Saturation 3. I uh, think it's the song Stupid, but they start with the hook and then you see them like writing on their phones and it's like, all right, pass it to Matt. And then Matt does his yeah. verse and then they're like, all right, re-record the chorus. All right. And then someone steps in and then they're like, yo, get this guy from the other room. They get him from the other room. He comes in. He's like, yo, I got a verse. And then he goes crazy. And then that actually became one of the songs. No, yeah. That was like another thing. Like oh, their whole come up, they, they documented all of that because it was weird. Mm -hmm. Brockhampton wasn't necessarily yeah. just a music thing. It was like film and That was low key. Like the, the part of it that made it like really like exciting to watch when it came out. Yeah. They were like a media thing. Yeah. They mm -hmm. were, I mean, they were very much like, <clears throat> I would say in the same vein of like, uh, uh, odd future in mm -hmm. the way that it's like it was like the internet's band exactly. yeah it was like the internet group like obviously a lot of artists now blow up that way but they were like the first ones that was like they really like independently yeah. rose up from that for sure that super good yeah, oh yeah and there's a funny thing just to cap it off i was telling jerry about it earlier uh the the new album well not the new new album but kevin the family mm -hmm. that one uh, it was produced by Bareface. It was like the two of them worked on it together. And I think Bareface actually appears to do like vocals on one song, mm -hmm. but it's painfully honest. And he talks about a lot of things. Like I was telling Jerry, there's like even lyrics where he's like, yo, Jabari, I'm sorry about it. Sorry about that fight we had before that set when we went on. Like he's talking about really specific times because he wants like a pop. I even told Jerry, I was like, feels like he got a therapist and the therapist was like, write a journal down. And then Kevin just turned that journal into this album. Yeah. Cause it's like all these really like deep, like, damn, he really said this shit. But where I'm getting to is there's a song and I was watching the music video for it in my room because I was just hearing it for the first time. And Kevin is openly gay and very gay. And there's a lyric where he's basically like, I remember having to sneak dudes out in the morning after sucking good dick or something like that. And my girlfriend was in the room and she just turned around and she's like, what the fuck are you listening to? And I was like, he's gay. He's, he's gay. very open about it's it. It's been a thing. <laughs> it's uh. He ha he has a lyric where he said he sucked dick with no with no hands. Yeah, Bob was like, wait, wait, wait! I'm listening to it for the story. Yeah, for the yeah, story. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> would be like, I listen for the plot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's actually the dick evolution. 
he he t t the he, dick evolution yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, the the better he gets at it the deeper he can go yeah. you know it's like it's a it's a real growing moment yeah. so shout out to Brian Campton yeah thank you for the music thank you for the memories and uh, and now uh. Even waiting for that top so. 40 Merlin solo album. Yeah, right. We're oh, waiting man. for it. Where is Merlin. it, Merlin? Where is it? Yeah. Like, like, honestly, Sheck West stole his whole shit. Yeah. If Merlin came out a few years earlier, it was like, damn, bro, he really just took your whole thing. That was his crowd, man. Yeah. Just yell some stuff. I mean, just to swing it into one last round, I'm pretty thankful for volleyballs. They, uh. <laughs> they re- that one they- fucking ended me, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Shut up, Dylan. I was uh, doing so fuck, well. How the fuck are you gonna make. Why? Tell, tell us, Bobby. I had all these reasons. Tell us. Up, yeah. Tell us. <laughs> tell us. <laughs> Come back to me. You have. No, 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 I don't have back. anything. That's why I'm doing this. I gotta swing it back now, bro. It's gonna be mean? like. It's gonna be like they help, they help keep the volleyball community afloat. They can be substituted for soccer balls sometimes or basketballs. <laughs> They're about the same well, size. How many times have you touched the volleyball? <laughs> You'd be surprised that work in a middle school. Oh, word, word, yeah. You'd be surprised. Everyone has, uh, everyone has the volleyball. Be like, Bobby, how many times have you touched the frisbee? Oh, oh yeah. volleyball is mad fun. It is. Are you thankful for any sports equipment? This, this um, the little wheelie things in public schools called scooters that definitely aren't scooters. Ooh, that's just like a plate on wheels yeah. Yeah. and has no control. Uh, I slammed into a lot of walls. You, ever, know you know that, that you know how those things have the handles on them, and you would always grip the handles. Yeah. You're actually not supposed to do that. You're supposed to put the hands in the handles, and the handles are actually protective barriers so that if you bump into walls or other you kids, won't hurt your hands. Your fingers. So you know, if you ever find yourself riding one of those again in a in a fucking middle am, school I'm gym, tw- I'm about to be 26. I will not be doing that. You'd be surprised. Yeah. You say that now. Where am I ending <laughs> up? <laughs> You'll have a kid someday. Yeah. You'll go to sports day or yeah. chaperone or something. They'll be, they'll, they'll they'll be, be like, one on the floor. Like, and you're like, like I have to. Go on, get it. And I'll be like, I remember this. Bro, shout out to when you're a kid and like you're playing gym. Cl- you're playing g- uh, games in gym, and there's like that. There's always that format where they give everybody like a number. And they're like number seven. And then it's like that. four. You never, you never had a, like that that format. Oh, like, like draft. No, and then like four kids run out. And no, yeah, like, no, yeah. no. This is reminding me of what's that game? Steal the bacon. Yeah, yeah like they that. line up in numbers <laughs> and they're like three, seven, and then three and seven have to yeah. run at the same time to get the thing. Yeah. Yo, why did Steal the bacon was fucking competitive as shit. Yeah, Holy yeah, fuck, bro. I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> wow, yeah, why yeah, what was up with the educational system? Why did we put it into any? Why are we talking about this? Fucking kick! I remember. I was just thankful for volleyballs. Bro, yeah. we're getting down to the root now of this thankful for stuff, public man. education health yeah. <laughs> mini games bro yeah. you asked me uh like you asked me what was my what, what was i thankful for any sporting equipment I, yeah are you thankful for any sporting equipment the baton bro <laughs> <laughs> the bacon <laughs> oh god <laughs> the baton <laughs> yeah, that's the freaking recorders bro <laughs> Track of. runners everywhere. They would not be able to do their jobs without the baton. <laughs> yeah, they fucking would. Just no, man. They, just they, as a recap, have them hold the fucking burrito. Just, it's the same shit. Just as a recap, what were we thankful for this episode? We were thankful for detectives, the scrub daddy, free food before classes, internet comedians, internet, 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 internet business cover, uh, video essayists, fire hydrants, yeah. <laughs> volleyballs, yeah. sit down scooters. And uh, and the but and the baton, <laughs> the, baton. <laughs> the baton, the baton. So if you were sitting at home wondering what team joystick was thankful, thankful for, for that's what we're you got those. it. That's that. That's the nine list. We ranked Thanksgiving foods and what we're thankful for this holiday oh, season. Man. If you guys named anything that you're actually thankful for, no, nah, you're wrong. Nah. You're wrong. <laughs> I'm secretly here, really passionate about how the, thankful yeah. I am for volleyball. As you just said that, and I'm like. Shit. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby goes up f- upstairs, just starts deflating everything. <laughs> Welp. I lied. Welp. I think it's time for Jam and Yam of the Week. And bam, because John's here. Anyway, uh, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do the whole bias like that. No one fucking understands. Would anybody it. like to go first? Uh, I have to pick one. Oh, okay. Do you I don't, I don't know. I mean, your phone's not out, so I'm already assuming songs, that you're ready you know? to go. I'll go first. I'm yes. just double checking. My, uh, my Yam of the Week is uh, Wicker Couch by Dry Jacket. Um, it's like a minute and 20 seconds most beautiful song I've ever fucking heard too and it pisses me off that it's only that length because you're like hold up yeah you want more yeah yeah it's like uh, it's like kind of math rocky but the guy who plays it it's like acoustic mm-hmm. so it's like a folk song Got but it. he's just fucking going crazy on that shit dope yeah 
Maybe I'm, I'm actually going to go with a song off of Brockhampton's newest album, the new new oh, album, called TM. It's a song called Man on the Moon. I played for a little bit in the room. has like a weird techno dance thing. does not sound like a Brockhampton there's a, song. There's a lot of songs like that now where no, it's like yeah. they draw from all of these different influences. They're like disco techno pop ish yeah, right? <laughs> but it's fire it's got a great synth in it it's it, i dance to it low-key so man on the moon bro i'm gonna pick uh a red hot chili pepper song another one aquatic aquatic mouth dance <laughs> That sounds like a red hot. It's from his new. It's from the new album. One of them. Concrete. My shit. <laughs> I'm gonna pick "Concrete Wet Dream" by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry to shit on Jose's favorite band there for a second. No, red Hot Chili Peppers got a thing. <laughs> every bro, every you know Anthony Kiedis is on the mic, bro. You know it. You hear that in a second. And you're just like, yep, that's him. That's him. There he is. He's, he's like a little like a. He's kind of like a faster Dave Matthews, you know. <laughs> Dave Matthews is like, <laughs> and then fucking Anthony Kiddies comes on. He's like, <laughs> try to guess the like, name of the newest album. He perhaps. Ballispico. It starts. <laughs> it, it starts with Return of. Return of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> uh, Return of the. Return of the. Gripping kiss. Uh, nah. Return of the pineapple. Return of the pineapple. What is it called? Return of the Dream Canteen. <laughs> <laughs> Very close to Concrete Wet Dream. We got him. Thanks for watching the Joystick Show. Uh, this has been the Thanksgiving special slash <laughs> the absolute stupid fucking episode. Nothing about this is anything. Can to this do. just be the podcast from now on? Yeah. Can it just be equally shit we have yeah, planned and equally bullshitting as we go? They have, a, they have a song <laughs> called La 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 La. <laughs> I can hear him saying it. There's eight laws, bro. <laughs> That's too many laws. Oh, shit. <laughs> Please like this episode of the Joystick Show. Uh, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to Team Joystick. And go ahead and comment what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is. Yeah. And if you don't have a Thanksgiving dish to comment, yeah. go ahead and comment la, 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 la. <laughs> and, if you, and also, like, uh, you know, what you're thankful for also. Yeah. yeah. And make it really serious yeah, like we yeah. did. Because yeah. we, we obviously put a lot of thought before the podcast into what Correct. we were going to talk about in terms of what we were thankful for, you know. But without further ado, we do hope you guys have a fun, happy holiday with your family. Eat some food. Eat some good food. Be thankful for some stuff. Doesn't matter how you celebrate yes. it. But, it, you know, we should all definitely take some time to actually be thankful for some things, you know. Reflect. And uh, other than that, go uh, go eat some ham. Go eat some turkey. Go eat some sides. Go eat some corn. Go eat some corn. Go eat some corn bread. Yep. Go eat some biscuits. Man, tighter. Go eat some red hot chili peppers. <laughs> Go eat some volleyballs. <laughs>